Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Denise and this is Dear Designs. I thought I'd quickly come on today just to show you what I've been up to. Um, if you remember last time I started a hat that I had finished, well now I have two. <laughs> um, I literally started this um, the evening of me showing you it. I think I'm showing you this one. That's really confusing. Um, but I believe I did a video on Tuesday. Was it Tuesday? <laughs> um, and I had finished this one and now I've done that one. Um, they are exactly the same, just different colourways. They do look... This one looks a little bit smaller than this one. It could be possible. I know that I did the... Um, the first colour, like the cuff down bit, the same amount of rows. And then I just sort of guessed the the rest of it to be honest i not guessed it but i measured it didn't count the rows i just measured it and it was supposed to be nine inches from the very top to wherever you needed to start your decreases so these are for my nephews um i have sent a picture it was it's the same nephew that i made the marshmallow man for and his brother so that is what i've made and i am hopefully going to be making another one for um Mikey which is my sister's baby the newborn um I've got so many ideas rattling around my head at the moment um but <clears throat> that's that then I on Sunday it is my niece's birthday um she will be 18 and I haven't got a clue what to buy her and she don't know what she wants her mum don't know what she wants um and I was going through my patterns and things and on the shelf, which is over there with all the yarn on it, I've got this pattern, which is the convertible cow. And I have mentioned this a couple of times and I thought, hmm, she might wear that. Um, she does wear, um, she goes to college and obviously it's snowing here at the moment if you don't know, if you've been in some sort of, I don't know, if you haven't what, if you haven't looked at social media, if you haven't watched the news, I'm sure everywhere in the world knows that we've had snow. <laughs> um, and we've had snow all week. So anyway, and I know these hats are like a, like a week late because obviously they should have had them when it snowed and the convertible cow should have been for when it snowed. But I do think it's still going to be a bit chilly the next couple of weeks anyway. And I should be seeing my sister-in-law um, at the weekend at some point. But I started the convertible cow. Now the only reason that I'm really doing this video today is to show you this. Because I've started it and that's that. Yeah. Uh, obviously to show you the hat. But um, this is what I've got so far. Um and it's really, really roly roly. <laughs> um, I don't know whether it's because of the, you've got to do front post double crochets. Um, I use US terms. I can't even like, <laughs> but that is the pattern. Oh God, this ain't working, is it? This really is not working. Y you get my drift, I'm sure you do. Aha, uh -huh, that is the pattern. I think it's lovely. Um, I actually sent a picture to um, Ian's sister and said, do you think Charlie will like this? Um, blah, blah, blah. And she got back to me this morning. She went, yeah, it's really it's really pretty. She does wear skirts, wear, she does wear scarves um, and things. So, and that was that. And then, oh, I've booked a table. So she didn't say nothing more. I've just literally got off the phone to her and she went, that, that, that scarf thing is really, really nice. <laughs> And I went, yeah, I'm making it now because I just started making it. And I thought, well, if anything, I can just sell it on. If she says no, she don't like it. And I really wanted to make it anyway. But she goes, it's really, really nice. And I went, yeah, I'm making it. She went, no, no, it's really nice. <laughs> so I went, is that hint, hint, you want one? So we didn't get her anything for her birthday, which was on the 9th of February. So um, depending on how this comes out, and whatever I might be making another one very soon um and I think it, you can wear it as like a spring 
thing. I'm going to have to block this because it's driving me mad. Um, I don't know how well it will block out. It's quite stretchy, so I think it... I don't know whether the stitches just need pulling. Maybe. Maybe it's just me. Um, they've come... Look, they've me pulling it has made it stretch out a bit, but I'm still working on it, so it's not a problem. Um, I can actually feel the stitches pulling as I'm doing this. And this is probably really boring for you watching me pull this apart, like pull this. So, um, <laughs> I'm going to stop. Um, I'm just catching up on a little bit of YouTube. That has actually pulled it out. Anyway, so that's that. Um, I have got written in here what I wanted to talk about. Um, I also um, wore my hat. Mm. I don't think it's here. I wore my hat that I made to match my virus shawl on Friday. We went out um, and saw some friends and he was like, oh, I want you to make me a pom-pom hat, but I want one that's really, really long, like a bed hat. Okay, so um, that is gonna be, after this, <coughs> that is gonna be my next big cast on or hook on project other than the little baby hat because that is going to just take me like no time at all this these took me a day and that was not knitting all day that was stopping to do things and housework and doing dinner and things um but i'm really pleased i really really like this hat um i am debating whether to make one for myself because it is literally just casting on the stitches and the pattern is so easy to change so i'm going to change it for the newborn so this was cast on i know i'm going backwards and forwards here sorry if i'm confusing you this was cast on 72 stitches and two by two rib for nine inches um you can make it all in one color you can split the colors but it does say to do and there's pink hair everywhere it does say to do the first um the first color uh, for three inches and then knit up to nine inches so I might have done it a little bit bigger I'm not sure but anyway then yeah that's that so for the baby one I am and it says you have to do it in increments of eight stitches <coughs> so I'm thinking 56 stitches I did write it down I did yeah 56 stitches which is two sizes smaller if you're doing it in eight in increments of eight, that is two sizes smaller. Um, and I'm not being funny. This is tiny anyway. It's just the length mainly. Um, so I thought 56 stitches, and it probably would last him for quite a while. This would probably last the boys quite a while because it does go quite big. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so yeah, that is what I'm working on right now and her birthday is Sunday. It's now Friday and I only cast it on last night because I was like, I really want to get her or make her something or buy her something, but I don't know what. And then I just saw, I just sort of, it popped into my head. I could make that cow and I was like, yes, I'm going to do it. Um, I messaged her mum yesterday and she didn't get back to me and I was just like, I'm going to make it anyway. So I'm really enjoying it and that is how big it is now she's 18 and she's about size 14 she's no bigger than a 14 um so i think that would be big enough now bearing in mind i'm about size 20 22 i think that will fit her um and it does say it's got to be 40 inches which this is not 40 inches but this is this is about thirty eight inches. Um, I think she's. I think it will fit well when when her mum because I think her mum's popping around today. So I'm gonna give this to her and get her to sort of size it up, um, and see, because even if she wears it over her neck. I think it will be okay um now bear in mind it's supposed to go over your shoulders now i'm a lot bigger 
Um, and that is one thing that I got a bit disheartened by, like it's come out a lot smaller and I'm using the right hook. I'm using the right yarn. It's, it's um, Aran, which is called for in the pattern. Um, <clears throat> I just really like it and we'll, we'll, we will see um, how it comes out. So it's quite big. I would say that this would fit. Um, but now I'm thinking about it. Why do, do you do that? Do you look at something and think, oh yeah, it'll fit. And then you look and look and look and you like sort of have to double check in your mind. Like, will it really? Um, I've done quite a bit of it as well. So we shall see. We shall see. Blocking it might make it a little bit bigger because obviously, as I said, stretching it is, it does stretch quite a bit. So anyway, that's enough of that. And I've also made some progress in my bullet journal. Not progress, but I've done some pages. Um, I have, <clears throat> I can't remember if I showed you this page. I'm not sure, but this is, oh, let me open it up properly so I can hold it. This is the month of March and I've just done on here a crochet tracker so I'm going to colour in every day that I crochet um, my to-do list which is all crochet related which is a car seat blanket, a hat and scarf set, um, get my sister's birthday present and the Anywhere Cow which I have started, some events and notes. Then this is this week just with my whips and some notes and then next week I have sort of changed it up a little bit and I've got the weeks this way or the days this way sorry I have got a lovely sticker and put that in with a little bit of glitter tape and put my work in progress there my to do's and this is Sunday and because Sunday is Mother's Day um, well here in the UK anyway I've just put a little heart with number one mum um, just for, I just thought, oh, I'd do that. So that's what I did. And then on the next page, I have just done some show notes. Now, these are not going to be proper show notes. These are just going to be so I know what I showed in the last video. Because I get so confused with that. So I just thought that I would, like today, I put the 2nd of March and I've just put um, show second hat, started convertible cow, um, my friend's hat that he wants and the baby hat. And that's that's that. Um, that's all I've spoke about at the moment. That's all I want to do. I haven't made no progress on my socks. I've made a little bit of progress on my jumper but it's minimal. It's not really that exciting. I just absolutely adore this book. It's so cute. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um... I'm just rambling on now, really, because I've got nothing else to say. I'm going to um, catch up with some more YouTube and, excuse me, oh my God, I was up at silly o'clock on Wednesday and yesterday and I just can't seem to get my sleep into a regular pattern. Um... I don't know whether it's the snow. I don't think it is. Um, on, not last night, the night before, Wednesday night, the sky was so light. I did put a status on Facebook, but the sky, it was, it was like, you know, when the sun is setting and it's not fully set yet, it was like that. And at 11 o'clock, it was still like light out. And we've got like a little green out the back and you could see everything. It was like... I don't know, it was so strange. And I, I was saying to Ian, like, it's still like daylight out there. It's, it, it, it was really, really strange. And I'm just looking out the window because it's still snowy. Um, it's not as bad, but I, it is coming up to 12 o'clock here. And I do believe that by one o'clock, it's gonna start snowing again. So, um, yeah, it's not something I'm looking forward to, to be honest. <clears throat> um. Tomorrow I've got afternoon tea, which um, was a birthday present for my mum. And we are going up London to, yeah, go for afternoon tea. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and yeah, that, that's that. Um, my sister-in-law has booked a table for 
tomorrow and I don't think I'm gonna make it but um, Ian's not coming with me to the afternoon tea so he might go there I'm just literally whittling on now I haven't blocked my shawl yet because the weather is just rubbish and I know I can block it in here but we've got the heater in the middle of the room we've got the clothes all up um, and it's just a bit like oh my god what has actually happened um i've redid my i've re redid redone my nails but i have literally just put um i think it's on the table somewhere it's a barry m um and it's just called nude and i've just literally put that over the acrylic so there's not actually a color and i really really like them like this i think they look quite natural um and you can see the tip slightly that's probably really out of focus but you can see the tip slightly but i think no one's going to be inspecting them and oh look you've done this and you've done that but i'm using a new product at the moment and i'm really really liking them um and the reason i did nude was because on, on tomorrow we're going out and i wanted to do them the color that i would be wearing because um it's quite a posh um, hotel we're going to. I can't remember the name of it. That's really bad. Um, it begins with L, I think. Um, it's in London, anyway. And I want I'm, want to dress up nice. And I wanted my nails to match my outfit. But I don't know what I'm going to wear. Because I don't know what the weather's going to be like. I didn't know whether we was getting the train up there. I didn't know whether we was driving. Um, it has has now been decided that my dad will drive. Because there is no trains. And I just think the weather is going to be absolutely ridiculous. So my dad is going to drive. Um, or it could be possible that I drive once I get there. It all depends on what happens. Um, my dad's a black cab driver. So we will just take the black cab into London. Um yeah so we'll see what happens tomorrow but going back to the nails i didn't know what colors to do and i was i'm in an army and i was like i'll just leave them plain for now um and then i found this in the huge thing of nail varnish that i've got and i was like oh, i'll just put this on for now and yeah but i really like them um you probably can't see them very well but i really like them like this and i just think they look quite natural, so I might just leave them like this for tomorrow. Um, instead of painting them some random colour and then when, wear something that absolutely clashes. And obviously, I know my hair is bright pink, yeah, but I can always paint them afterwards or... I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Um, but I did take the whole lot off um, and put a new set on. And I'm working with a new product from Nao Nails. At Joys the of recording on your phone and don't put it on aeroplane mode. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. <laughs> and I'm going to say thank you for watching and watch me just talk rubbish. Um, I don't think there is anything else more to say. I've ordered some more 5D paintings and I'm waiting for them to come. I was hoping that they would be here before Mother's Day because I've got one for my mum. Um, but hopefully that might come the beginning of the week and I can sort of work on it during the week. It's a, it's a cat, but it's not a full one. It's just a partial one. Um, and I've ordered, I think ordered three. I think ordered a beetle like a um vw beetle car <laughs> um and i honestly can't remember um i know i said i was going to stop rambling but let me see if this will work my ipad is playing up lately so has it got ebay on it yes I got them, I just buy mine from eBay. They're quite cheap. Um, they take a little while to come and I didn't actually check to see how long they would take. Um, so that was my fault, really. Um, purchases. I have ordered... Um, I don't think it's going to show. Ah, I have ordered this one for Ian's sister because she loves me to you bears as well i have ordered uh the butterfly um i've ordered this because i've actually got a butterfly a real butterfly that um is in a case 
Um, it's actually out in my hallway. It's a real butterfly and it's that butterfly. And I just thought that would look nice in a case as well. And I've ordered this one for my mum. I didn't order the beetle one. Um, I've ordered that one for my mum because she loves cats. Um, so yeah, they're the three that I've ordered. Um, and it's saying the 15th of March. Mm. Oh well, never mind. Um, I can give it to her at any time. But um, <clears throat> also, they normally come a little bit quicker than it says on here anyway. So we'll just have to wait and see. So I'm going to go. Um, I think Ian's sister is on her way. That is... Um, Ian was on the phone and he was saying about um, tomorrow and um, Tracy's on her way around. Um, yeah, I know. I know that already. <laughs> um, so I'm going to work on a little bit more of this and see how I get on. I'm going to go and put the kettle on and I am going to say goodbye and I'll see you next time. <laughs> and I'm sorry about rambling. So I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.